Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a letter box. This is the inspired. Let's see. This is the inspired box that she wants. This is for an order. So you can see that it's going to have it's going to be pink, light pink. So I'm going to have it here with me to look at it while we go. I did ask you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram um, about the letter box, so I have a few. So I already melted my chocolate. I used Choco Maker. I'll have everything that I use down below. This is the paint that I use for the box. As you can see, I already painted the box. It's gonna be letter G, just like that. I do both front side and back side. And then butterflies from, I think, lavender. My little chocolate molds, I am gonna add a little few of these. Luster dust. Royal is Royal Silver by Luxe, Luxe Cake from Amazon. Food coloring. By Chef Master. Um, my thank you roll. You can see I get this from Amazon. You can there's so many to choose from. Just write put on the search bar thank you stickers and pink crinkle paper from Hobby Lobby. This was $2.99. I could have gotten it cheaper if I went to Dollar Tree, but I didn't have time. Some lemon extract for the lust the dust happy birthday mold this is from amazon and my skewers that i will be using so all the strawberries i'm gonna go ahead and start dipping them pink i am gonna put some white aside for the lines the drizzles okay so i set some aside um, for the drizzles, I am going to go ahead and start to color the chocolate. Okay, so I am going to be using Chef Master. I'm going to do only a little bit because since she does want it a light pink, I'm going to do little by little. And if you do hear my daughter talking, she is right here next to me. She is talking non-stop today, so that is why. And I like to use a butter knife because it gets the chocolate, all the chocolate everywhere. As to where the spoon, um, it would leave a little white. So I asked a few uh, for you guys to ask me questions and I received a few. So the first one was all like, yes, thank you. It's so hard getting letters now. And yes, it is really hard to get the letters. What I ended up having to do is buy like a bunch of letters um, and just save them um, if anyone is gonna want them, like if they're gonna ask for an order of that letter because I used to be able to go to Hobby Lobby and the letters were there and now I go and they're all gone. And I have to go to more than one Hobby Lobby so it's kind of uh, like it's kind of hard now because everyone's doing them. Um, you can also order them. The one I get is a 16 inch. And what's cool about um, Hobby Lobby is that they'll have discounts. Like one week will be floral craft and then the next week is gonna like holiday stuff so i always try to go whenever they're doing the craft sale because the letter itself is seven dollars but with the sale it comes down to i believe five dollars if i'm not mistaken which is really nice because they are some can be if you're buying a lot can be expensive uh, the next one is, do you paint the outer part of the box? And yes, I paint both sides if they ask for a color. I like it as well as the cardboard um, color because 
the color of the strawberries will stand out. Um, but either way, it looks pretty. So yes, I do both sides. See, this is how it's looking. I want it a little bit more dark looking by the picture. Uh, next question, is it super time consuming? Um, it can be. I used to do I used to take a long time just cutting the box, but now I'm used to it. So just cutting it itself is not hard. Uh, but the painting now is easier. I used to use a different type of paint and it would take forever to dry. And this paint doesn't. I'll be finishing one side and then the other side is already dried. That's how fast it dries um but no it's not time consuming it can be at first if you're not used to it but once you get the hang of it it's really really quick so i'm just dipping my strawberry just spinning it around Trying to get it to the very top. Just like that. I don't like doing um, the chocolate like down here. Just because I don't think it looks pretty. Because when they're asking for a chocolate covered strawberry, they're asking to the very top. So just take your time doing it to the very top. If you're just starting, just practice and you'll get better at it. And I just like to tap it just like that. And then I move on to the next one. So next question, how much do you charge for something like this? The picture that I posted on there was like a rainbow the pride colors um i start my letters at 45 um if they want um i did like a pricing video uh so like if they want luster dust i can charge like a dollar if you're just starting uh, and you just want to get your foot off the door you can just do 45 um or price the how much it costs all of your items, not including your molds, just the strawberries and the chocolate. And see, okay, well, how much am I gonna make out of profit? As well as the time it takes you. If you are just starting and don't know how long this is gonna take you, practice before doing it. Just practice doing a dozen simple strawberries, adding food coloring, a simple color and see how long that took you. If that took you a while, then you'll know like, oh, if I'm gonna do like the molds or adding letters, that's gonna take more time. So just practice first before charging. But I start mine at 45. a little bit on the leaves but that's okay okay so i went ahead and i dipped all my strawberries and now i'm gonna go ahead and start on the drizzling so i already split them in half six and six six of them are going to be the basic drizzle and then the other ones are going to be um sort of forming like an x in the middle with some sprinkles i haven't decided yet sprinkles or do it with luster dust we'll see so I'm going to start on the basic drizzles. I already put my chocolate in the Ziploc bag. Remember to hold your strawberries up here. And then just go ahead and start going. I turn mine around because I like to do drizzles on both sides. 
and then I'm not drizzling and then turning the strawberry because the lines will come out crooked. I've seen it in a video and I did not like how she did it. So that's why I stop and I turn the strawberry around. And then you can start on whichever side you want. I'm like I missed I like my drizzles to be all together so I went back. And once you get the hang of it, um your drizzles will come out like all together smoothly. Practice makes perfect. Okay, in a small bowl, you're gonna put your lesson juice just a little bit. And then lemon ex extract. You can also do pure vodka, whichever one you have at home. Okay, and I bought this brush from Hobby Lobby. And you're just going to go ahead and mix it all around till you get a liquid consistency. Not too liquidy either. Just can you see it? Like that. That ready. We're gonna go ahead and do our other. But this time I want the hole a little bit more bigger. because the X, the lines of the X are pretty thick. That's good. So I just bring your chocolate down as you go. And this time I'm just gonna do an X for one side. So you're gonna start out one corner, press your chocolate down one swipe and another one, another swipe. And just fix it with the Ziploc bag. Just like that. You're gonna wait for it to dry. So I'm gonna set it down right here. Do the other one. Just start at one corner, whichever side is best with the chocolate. Or you can go slowly. Wait for that to dry. And you're just gonna do that to all of your strawberries. Okay, so I went ahead and I did all the molds, took them out of the molds, like the little chocolate bars, the happy birthday sign, butterflies, and I added less the luster dust on them. So now we're just gonna go ahead and set up our box. I went ahead and bought these flowers from Hobby Lobby, these little ones as well, and I'm just placing them on the box as I go and I'm just putting a little bit of crinkle paper just a little bit I'll go ahead and show you guys here in a bit once I'm all done but it's gonna be basically basic drizzle 
and then these X. And they are pretty big, so I did 12 of them. Hopefully they all, it all fits on here. Grab the basic one, turn your strawberry around. Use a little bit of the melted chocolate and put on behind of the strawberry. And then place it on the strawberry, just like that. And just do that to all of your strawberries. This is the final look. I'll go ahead and record it itself so you guys can ha see how it looks. Um, but this did take like an hour and a half. So like I said, make sure you um, charge by the out by your the hour. Um, I'll be posting the results on my Instagram as well, so you guys can go ahead and like it. Follow me on all my social medias, and I'll go see you guys in the next one.